Sup guys, so if I look a little funky right now, it's because I was just working out and I didn't feel like showering right afterwards. And if you're wondering why I have so much makeup on, is because I work out when I get home from work, it's just easier and I don't feel like, hello, taking my makeup off before I work out because I'm about to get in the shower. But before I got in the shower, he wants cuddle times. Hello. Um, before I got in the shower, I wanted to watch a movie. So, today I have on my Gnome Sweet Gnome Alaska shirt. You know why? You know what today is? Today is the fourth kind day and the reason why I'm wearing this shirt is for the video. Um, because the fourth kind takes place in Nome, Alaska. It's said to be like based on true events even though it's not. Um, it's about alien abduction. Now I have seen this already. I saw it in theaters and I've seen it once afterwards so it's kind of a cheat week for me but I thought you guys would still want my opinion on it. I haven't seen it in a long time and I absolutely adore this movie. It's one of my favorites and I love Mila Hovovich, however you pronounce her name. Um, I love it so much so I wanted to watch it again today and I said that this would be my next video for the week so let's go ahead and I'm gonna start the movie now and I'll talk to you after I'm done. So we're back. Sorry about the lighting. I know it's really yellow. The sun has already gone down so I didn't really time this appropriately. I normally do my filming. <coughs> I normally do my filming for these videos during the weekends when there is sunlight because I work all week and so during the week it's just not feasible for me normally. But you can't even see my shirt. I wanted to wear it be all cool, wear my gnome sweet gnome shirt for this um, video. But let's talk, shall we? Um, a lot of fr I had forgotten so I'm glad I rewatched it before I did the video. Um, but it just reaffirms my love for this movie. I honestly, I mean, I obviously don't believe any of it's real. It's supposedly found footage. Um, not really found footage, but like donated footage of Dr. Abigail Tyler, who is a psychologist in Nome, Alaska. And her husband is murdered in the beginning of the movie. You know that and talk about it. Um, so it's not like a spoiler right there, but her husband is murdered and she continues on his work, his study of this particular study. And it's regarding these patients who see owls at night and that's what the whole owl thing is. Like on the back there's the owl. They see that looking at them through their window um, and it keeps them up at night is what they say. It eventually... Um, continues into her doing um, like hypnosis on the patients and them going under and reliving the experiences which is probably the freakiest part of the movie is when um, she puts them under hypnosis. That's really really freaky. Now I do believe in aliens, I really do, just not in our galaxy but I believe with how big the universe is there's definitely something out there that's alive. Whether or not it's intelligent um, whether or not it's beyond our intelligence, I don't know. I don't sway one way or the other, but I do believe there's some other form of life. But given that, I don't get scared of aliens. <laughs> like, aliens don't freak me out any at all. I mean, zombies freak me out, even though they're not real either. Um, and other things obviously freak me out in real situations. But this movie did a really good job on making you scared of aliens. So if you're already scared of aliens or being abducted or alien theories, this is your movie to be really freaked out. They set up all the scenes really, really creepy. The, I mean, this movie is very eerie. Like the whole thing is suspense. Few jumpy moments. Um, I did jump. I don't mind jumping, especially if I'm alone. It's not embarrassing. But if you're with people, you can laugh about it. So it's kind of a win-lose. I don't know. Um, I don't know what they're trying to get at at the end when they're like, you know, it's up to you to decide what you believe and all this kind of stuff and saying all these facts about police or FBI visits to Nome and Anchorage, Alaska. I don't know where they're going with that. I think they're trying to pull off that this is real footage when it's not. It is, you know, filmed footage for the movie, so I don't know. It's supposed to be set in like the, in 2000 is when it's set in. Um, I don't know. The only thing I do know which is totally unrela unrelated to the actual movie itself is I am completely jealous of Abigail Tyler, the 
fictional character um, in the movie because I dream of being a psychologist and having my own practice and she has that with you know in Nome which is absolutely beautiful Alaska is gorgeous one of my favorite things about the movie Am I swinging this around too much? <laughs> One of my favorite things about this movie is the scenery, the audio, um, the music that they use is really amazing. The scenery is just beautiful. I want to live there so bad. I love it. Um, and so for her to have her own practice in like this cabiny type big building with trees all around and gnome, it's so amazing. But minus the aliens, obviously I don't want that <laughs> in my practice. Um, but honestly, it's a really interesting movie. It's very different. I don't hear, um, my cat scared me so bad just now. It's like, what is walking on my bed? It's like, I'm still in that creepy, creeped out mode right now. There are a few parts in there that I have to separate myself. I'm like, you know, on my phone trying not to look because I know what's coming. That's the thing about seeing it already. I knew what was coming, um, which I like because I don't like to be that scared. Um, but there are some scenes where you're just like really if you're really into it it's gonna freak you out so I'd say it would creep you out regardless if you're scared of the alien abduction theories or not they really take it there it's kind of like signs um, except we don't actually see the aliens or anything we hear their language um, I don't know the good part about it is the found footage filmed footage whatever I liked that because it adds an extra scare factor because it makes you think that it's real they do really a really good job of making you think that it's real um, when obviously it's not but I guess it's your choice on what you believe I'm just gonna go with that <laughs> um, I don't believe this movie is real but you know whatever that's just me um, so yeah and that's basically it it's not on Netflix and I apologize for that um, I'm sure you can find it online or buy it like I did I just got mine on Amazon for like six dollars um, it's not a very popular movie it's not too well known um, but it's a really good one it's a good scare one I would watch it with your friends just like one of those movies it's really good um, I'll have the trailer link down below, but I don't think it does it justice. I really don't. It's not really that telling in the trailer, and, you know, I think the movie's way better. I think the movies are always better than the trailers, but sometimes the trailers will give everything away in the movie. This, by the way, has a huge twist at the end. Um, I'm not going to go into it or give anything away, but it's a good twist, and it's... I love it. I love the twist so much. That's all I'm going to say. I don't even want to say anything else because I don't want to give any smidgen of it away because then it would ruin the movie. So it's really good. Definitely check it out. Check out the trailer, all that down below. Um, again, sorry for my appearance and um, my workout hair. That's what I do to work out. Um, but I thought I still had makeup on, so why not? Yeah? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. i am so far been really good at posting every Wednesday, so let's try and keep that up, yeah? Um, let me know any movie requests you want me to do next. I'm open for requests. I know some of you have been requesting a lot of movies. If it's not on Netflix, it's really, really hard for me to get. So if you want to go on Netflix and see what's instant streaming and request from there, by all means. Um, I will be doing I Spit on Your Grave, I think, soon. That's in my instant queue, but I think it's the original one from like the 70s. I don't really know that much about it. I haven't looked into it at all. Um, but I saw that I Spit on Your Grave was on Netflix, and that's been requested a lot. I really, really, really want to watch Martyrs, but again, it's not on Netflix, so it's really hard for me to get. I don't really like to do the illegal watching online streaming and all of that. I've had really bad problems with my computer by doing that, getting viruses and Trojan horses and all this. I don't even... I don't even know. Um, is that what they're called? Trojan horse? Trojans. <laughs> so I'd prefer to not watch them online streaming. If you can find it on YouTube, I'll watch it on YouTube or Netflix. Those are the two that I like. So feel free to request some video or some movies that you want me to review and talk about down below. Um, again, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week. Bye.